This is an axolotl. It's also known as a Mexican walking fish. The axolotl is a salamander that never goes through metamorphosis. So it keeps its fluffy gills and lives in the water for its entire life, unlike other salamanders who become terrestrial once they complete metamorphosis. The axolotl is found in only one place out of the entire world, this Mexican lake system. Unfortunately, during the development of Mexico City to prevent flooding, Lake Chalico, where they were mostly abundant, was drained to a small river. To add more insult to injury, non-invasive species of fish, such as African tilapia and Asian carp, were introduced into the bodies of water where the axolotl live. These invasive species thrived off of their newfound food source, the axolotl, and unfortunately decimated their population. Due to its unique regeneration abilities, it was studied for medical research and from there made available to the pet industry. Nowadays, this species is commonly bred in captivity and they are absolutely thriving thanks to passionate axolotl enthusiasts. Meanwhile, in Mexico, a biologist named Luis Zambrano who specializes in axolotl research at the Instituto de Biología at Universidad Nacional Autonomia de Mexico is working to restore their natural habitat. In 2006, the axolotl was declared critically endangered by the IUCN Red List. In 2014, Zambrano reported that the population had decreased even further after an attempt to repopulate the species with 2,800 axolotls released back into the wild. In 2015, the Environment and Natural Resources Ministry released 500 axolotls from CIBAC in the water channels south of Mexico City. Of the 500, 225 of them were wearing a chip that monitored their behavior. The research further proved that something had to be done in order to restore their habitat or they would not be able to make a comeback. Restoring their habitat is currently underway and several quote-unquote axolotl shelters are being regrown and monitored. The pet trade breeders have helped keep this species alive and provided the necessary specimens to the researchers, which is enabling them the ability to figure out what this species needs in order to thrive in the wild once again. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Conservation Wind Show. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on all of my future content. To watch the full episode that this clip came from, click the link in this video's description.